goodness. Switching the pick and roll, you allow him to turn the corner. Mama, there goes that man. Millsap gets posterized. So it's looking like what Stephen A. Smith had revealed this information about ESPN a couple of weeks ago that he wasn't lying, man. And I would like to go back and revisit that real quick for you guys in today's video because it's just going to put everything into context. So with that being said, let's check out the video of what Stephen A. Smith had to say about ESPN layoffs. Here's a video. Let's deal with reality. This ain't the end. More is coming. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, I could be next. Stephen A. Smith had revealed that there was going to be more layoffs to come. And he was even saying that, hey, even my job could be at risk. Nobody knows. And that's what just recently happened with Mark Jackson. Mark Jackson was just fired by ESPN. I got the report right here. I'll just highlight it. You guys can screenshot it if you want to read more. Or I'll just have the link to that down below if you guys want to go check out the full information, man. But, you know, Mark Jackson was let go. And as you can see right here, this report, Mark Jackson has said that he was shocked by the firing. And, you know, a lot of people was, especially to be replaced by Doc Rivers. And I honestly think that's even disrespectful to announce his replacement as well. Because if you think about the other firings, they didn't announce their replacements. They just say, you know, Jayla Rose, Max Kellerman, Keyshawn Johnson, and 17 on-air personalities was let go. You know what I mean? They didn't announce 20 other replacements. So I really think it's just distasteful how ESPN just fired him and then replaced him with another NBA head coach. So it's just like, damn, you know, it's really honestly just distasteful in my opinion, especially to announce the replacement. Yeah, man, you know, that's the report about Mark Jackson. And then we got another report I want to highlight for you guys today. And the next topic for today's video, I want to get into Bomani Jones. Bomani Jones has been with ESPN for 20 years. He's considered one of the woke analysts over there. That's what a lot of people call him, the woke analyst. He had recently had a show with HBO. It didn't last long. They had canceled it. So, you know, everybody was like wondering what was going on with Bomani Jones. He was still on ESPN, of course. Same thing with Bomani Jones. Um... He's up for contract negotiation, and ESPN has not gave him a call. And that's what Bomani Jones had revealed. Let me highlight that right here. All right, let's talk about Bomani Jones because he's hella close to leaving the ESPN. That's what he says. He indicates his contract won't be renewed at ESPN. So Bomani is saying that the network doesn't plan to renew his contract, which expires at the end of the month. So the breakup now from ESPN comes a few weeks after HBO canceled Jones's game theory with Bamani Jones. He didn't confirm his departure, but did say that the company hasn't, has not shown interest in extending his contract. Whoa, that's a bad feeling. I'm going to talk through that too. So the economic fate of people in sports media is getting dicier and dicier by the day. That's what Jones said. I think the ESPN layoffs were the beginning of it in a lot of ways. Seeing what happened with the New York Times shutting down their sports department and they moved those people to other desks. But at some point, they're probably going to deem those people to be surplus and they're not going to be there anymore. Yep. That's why I left ESPN and I left Sports Nation because I felt it was an empty check. And I was right. But when I was making the decision, I didn't know I was right. Where is Bamani Jones right now? Woo! So he has a month left on his deal. And they ain't interested in talking to him. This is the worst. A lot of things are being challenged in Bomani Jones right now. One, how dare a place I give 20 years can't come out clearly and define what our relationship is now and going forward. That's the first thing he feels. It's a betrayal. It feels like a betrayal. Whether it is by a classic definition or not, you're going to internalize it like it's a betrayal. 20 years? And then you just go dip set? Aight. You just hit him with that? Like, imagine you in a relationship for 20 years, and then one day, peace. That's it? What do you mean, peace? Like, I, I don't want to talk about it. And that's, that's the betrayal part. But to umbrella all of this, I always tell people, and especially Bamani in this position, the anticipation of death is worse than death itself. Trust me. The anticipation of, are they going to call me one day? No, they're not going to call me. Oh, man, what am I going to do? I don't know what I'm going to do. I am going to do this. I don't know if I'm going to do that. What, what if they call? Would I do that? You know, the anticipation of this deal expiring is worse than the deal expiring itself. Trust me. Okay, so that's Marcellus Wiley talking about it. And I like how he had revealed some of the inside information. Like, when you up for 
contract negotiations when you've been with a network for 20 years and they won't pick up that phone call and it's like a sudden death type of moment like are they gonna call are they not gonna call are they gonna call are they not gonna call and you know he's been with that network for 20 years man and they can't even just pick up the phone and call that man and just let him know hey we're not renegotiating your contract yeah man i just wanted to come on here highlight that talk to you guys today about some of these um ESPN layoffs, man. If you made this far in the video, man, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. That really does help, man. Hit that thumbs up button. Hit that subscribe button as well if you're new to the channel. Smash that thumbs up button because that really does let me know that you guys will like these type of episodes on this channel, man. So salute. If you made this far in the video. I really do appreciate that. Catch you guys on the next one and we out, guys. Peace.